Hello guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today I want to talk about Big Hammer Lures Ringer Worm. Right there is the package you will see that it will come in. That's Big Hammer Lures Ringer Worm. Now before I get started, just go down to the bottom of the page and hit like and subscribe if you would please. Now on to the Ringer Worm. Now what exactly is the Ringer Worm? The Ringer Worm is just a 4 inch ribbon tail worm. It kind of imitates a grub but it's got a little bigger profile to it. Now, why do I throw the ringer worm, and when do I throw it? I like to throw it right after the bass move off the bed, when they are finicky. It's got a slender profile to it, and it's just got a finesse look to it and a finesse profile. And that is when the bass are finicky, is right when they move off those beds and post-spawn. You can throw this little 4-inch worm, say they're not biting anything when they are just on lockdown, when they move off those beds. Take this ringer worm and take it out, and they will eat it. And it might be little, but the big ones will bite it. Now, how do I throw this, and what do I rig it on? The first way I like to rig it is actually on a Texas rig here. And there's three main colors I throw in this bait. I like to throw it, my most favorite here is pictured, is a magic crawl. That one there, it's got a little bit of purple in it, some black flake, and it's just kind of a grayish tint, it's kind of got a greenish tint to it. That is my favorite color. I throw that. It works good in clean water, works best in stained water, and it works good in dirty water as well. You can throw that bait just anywhere. You can buy one. don't have to switch any others, and they will bite it anywhere. The next color I like to throw is watermelon red. I like to throw that in anything that visibility is about two foot or more. They like that watermelon red, and especially if the sun is out, they like that watermelon red. It's just something with that red when the sun shines on it, it shoots back up. And then the last color I like to throw here is June Bug. And I like to throw June Bug anytime that water clarity is about a foot, foot and a half or less, I will throw June Bug. And I like to throw June Bug anytime there is bluegill around. For example, I was fishing a Kansas lake just here the other day, and I started catching them on the June Bug here. They are just, they're on beds right now, and they're also off of beds. They're in about all three stages. I don't think there's really any more in pre-spawn, but there still was some that actually had eggs in them that we had caught here in Kansas. And I was throwing this going down the bank. There's a lot of grass up on the bank. There wasn't no milfoil or anything in that lake, but there was just grass up on the bank, and then there was laydowns. And I was flipping that up into the laydowns, and then there was some brush just out from the bank. And I was bringing that through those brush piles, and they were eating that. And they was eating that because the bluegill are up there spawning as well. They was also eating it because it was on beds. It's a great bed bait. But that June bug, anytime there's bluegill around, they love that June bug in that dirtier water because that imitates that bluegill. And I like to throw it on a Texas rig anytime I'm fishing around a lot of cover. And under, under about 10 foot of water, I'll throw it on a Texas rig. And I throw it on a quarter ounce weight, and this here is just a two-aught offset hook right there. As you can see, and I like to throw red. I just, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know if it's something in my head or not, but the red seems to get more bites. It seems to trigger that bite if those bass are finicky, and you're already fishing this because those bass are finicky, and that helps get those bites. And the next way I like to fish it is just on a jig head. Just take it out on a jig head. Anytime you see school and shad, you can throw it around school and shad or just throw it out along an open bank if there ain't a whole lot of cover. And just bring that back just like you would a grub. It works just as well as a grub, except it's got that bigger profile so you'll get bigger bites and not those smaller fish. And then the next way is an underspin. If you get a lot of shad around and that underspin, you throw the underspin anytime you're out there around those shad and they love it on an underspin as well. You can find these baits at Tackle Warehouse, has the ringer worms. You can go to www.swimbait.com, that is Big Hammer's homepage. You can order them from there as well and get all their details on it. But like I said, most people know what Tackle Warehouse is. You can go to Tackle Warehouse and buy them there. All right, thank you.